Hi, I'm Heather from Here Book Tubes, and today is adult romance that is similar to Crescent City or House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. All of these have a urban fantasy or paranormal setting, and they all have some specific similarity to Crescent City. So this is not just here's a list of great fantasy books. This is they have something similar to Crescent City that I really enjoyed and hopefully you do too. I give Crescent City five stars. That's not to say that I didn't have any issues with it, but I did really enjoy it. As usual with any Sarah J Mass book, it did give me a little bit of a book hangover and these are great remedies if you have one too. Number one is Daughter of Death by Lexi C. Foss. This book is on Kindle Unlimited. Any other books that are on Kindle Unlimited, I will have listed in the description. This is urban fantasy with fallen angels and demons. And Angeline is a retired assassin who wants nothing to do with the underworld or the paranormals there, but someone is framing her for some kills. She has seven days to prove that it's not her before she gets killed by a demon lord. She has to work with the man that she's hoping to never see again. It's the love of her life, second chance romance, hate to love, very much so. If you want steamy romance, angels, a plot, hate to love, this is the perfect thing for you. Next I have Kate Daniels. The first book is Magic Bites by Alona Andrews. Although really any books by Alona Andrews are urban fantasy romance, they're all excellent. Their Hidden Legacy trilogy, which the first one is Burn For Me, is excellent. It's probably my favorite. Um, so if you want just a trilogy, that would be a great place to start. Kate Daniels is a much longer series. I think it's nine or ten books. It's an amazing heroine who just is the baddest of the bad. She's just so good at everything that she does. There's some mystery about her origins. We don't get much romance in the first couple of books, but she is falling for the Lord of the Shifters. So he's the most alpha of any shifter. And I really love their relationship. The plot is amazing. The Kate is a mercenary and she's purposely a middle of the road mercenary. So she's not terrible. She's not so great that anybody's going to notice her, but people are turning up dead. And so, she meets Curran. Next is Evil by Tijan, which is a standalone paranormal romance. It takes place in high school. They're seniors and they are the group that everyone wants to be. They are powerful, they're beautiful, they're mysterious, and the leader of them is Kellen. And so it's a cute romance. I enjoyed the twist. This is Demons and Angels and if you wanted maybe a younger setting while it's still being adult with sex and violence and language and all the things. Really enjoy Tijin as an author in general. Next is Storm's Heart by Thea Harrison. This is the second book in the Elder Races series so that is the only reason why I might hesitate to recommend it because it does a little bit spoil the first one which is Dragonbound which is a dragon shifter falling for the girl who managed to steal from his hoard. She is posing as a human and you spend most of the book not knowing exactly what she is. It's a pretty good reveal so I'd hate to spoil it without letting you know that hey in the second book you are going to already know what happens there but if this one specifically piques your interest you can start with the second one. Trix is the heir to the Dark Fae throne, but she can't take the throne without risk of life and limb, and so she has found sanctuary with the weird or the shifters. Now it's time for her to claim her throne. She survives an assassination attempt, so Tiago Black Eagle gets assigned as her bodyguard. He has thunder and lightning powers, he's Native American heritage, and this is one of my very favorite paranormal urban fantasy romance series. I love these characters. I love their friendship. I love kind of their inner circle vibe. I feel like if you like Sarah J Mass in general, you will probably really enjoy this entire series. But this one is very similar to Crescent City in the main characters. I would highly, highly recommend that you check it out if you want anything similar at all.
Last but not least is Burn is the First in the Dark in You series by Suzanne Wright and she is one of my very favorite paranormal romance authors. She writes amazing shifter series, she has a great vampire trilogy, and then you have this series which is Demons. Harper is just part of a small demon group until she accidentally finds out that she is the psychic anchor or mate for basically the most powerful demon in the world named Knox and it's their romance. She can hold her own. He's very alpha and I love it. It's a really fun ride. I have only read the first book. I do fully intend to continue the series so if you don't want angels maybe you want to go a little bit darker. This is a great urban fantasy Faded Mates book. I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend all of these. I hate trying to find recommendations and it's just the list of all the great fantasy books and it doesn't really have any specific similarities to the book that I'm looking for. I think that it's hard to separate Sarah J Mass's fantasy worlds from her epic romance and I am not trying to. That's my favorite. That's why I think that recommending romance books that are urban fantasy or paranormal really fit even though they're often not on the same list. If you are looking for a book similar to any one aspect of Kristen City, I would love for you to comment what you're looking for and hopefully we can come up with some good recommendations for you based on the specific trope or part that you want to read more of. And if you have any recommendations, please leave it below. I would love for you to subscribe as I do offer romance recommendations every few days. And usually it's by tropes because I'm a mood reader, so I'm always searching for specific things. Thank you. Bye.